cocktail expert Jim Meehan is a New York City-based author and the bar manager of PDT. We paid him a visit at his bar so he could show us how to make a refreshing new summer drink he's created called the Croquet Cooler. It uses gin, watermelon, cucumbers, and rose flower water. You've created a drink for us, right? Yeah, That's I mean, a Galone-friendly drink, right? Essentially, each drink has about an ounce of an ounce of watermelon, about three cucumbers each. So I'm going to make three drinks, one for you and I and our, our cameraman here. So I'm going to put Are nine. You to drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to put nine cucumbers in, um, and then I'm going to put roughly. I mean, this is about going to give me about an ounce of of right. watermelon juice. If you have a juicer at home, um, mm -hmm. you could obviously put the watermelon and cucumber in and then juice it. Um, the easiest way to do it, especially behind a bar, is to actually put the watermelon and cucumber in a, in a metal mixing glass. Give that a good muddle. I've been chilling my mixing pitcher. I'm gonna get rid of that ice. And then this mixture can just get fine strained I find that rose water um, is one of the, the coolest ways to add rose to a drink. And with this, it's, um, rose can overpower a drink really quickly. So right. each drink has three drops. So I'm going to do nine drops. Right. You don't want to go over because then it's like drinking perfume. It's right? like drinking perfume. It's going to really go from being something that's a really cool accent to something that, as you said, like drinking perfume. Yeah. And the gin has rose in it as well. Each drink has an ounce and a half in there. Um, add that together. Now the drink um, punches are typically topped with, they could be topped with champagne, they could be mm -hmm. topped with tea. There's generally something that lengthens them a little bit. Uh, I chose club soda because on a hot day, I, I, like I said, I just want something light and hydrating. Right. What I could do is either stir um, my drink first to get the proper chill and dilution and then add the club soda. But because I'm not going to stir so intensely, I'm just right. going to actually right add right. Cool. the club soda right into the pitcher. I don't want to top my drinks with club soda because um, I... It doesn't mix, right? I want to integrate it. Yeah. So that's all together there. So as I said, you can either hold it like this and get it going but that's gonna, the heat from your palm is gonna warm the glass, or you can get a good grip on the bottom. So with the right. galone, if you get the right motion going, which the idea is to just mix and chill. As I'm doing this, the, the liquid is, the liquid is chilling and the ice is actually melting and giving off some water. I, I'll usually stir that or agitate it in this case for about eight or nine seconds. You can get a Hawthorne strainer on there or a julep strainer. Mm -hmm. um, I see you have this beautiful spear ice. Actually, this is ice that I buy from um, a gentleman named Shintaro Okamoto, mm -hmm. whose primary occupation is ice sculpting. Mm -hmm. So uh, what could be more summery than a watermelon, cucumber, rose, gin, and soda? Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> Here's yours. Everyone get in. Cheers. Cheers. To summer. To summer.